deceased detection. So this is dead plants? Uh, this is just potentially trying to find those uh, dead plants or plants that are getting attacked by uh, potential pests. So mm. we are, a lot of analysis is being run on the actual map, the ortho mosaic is what we call it. But there's also the need of running an image analysis or running um, machine learning on the individual image. So companies like AgroScout will go and fly very low over the canopy and take a picture. And you can see on the screenshot there, the resolution is insane. It's like you're literally looking at the leaf and then you can see if there's any sort of disease on the leaf, any sort of bugs. But what AgroScout is doing is just using the sonar on the bottom of the drone along with some obstacle avoidance and automating missions flying at less than 30 feet off the ground and taking it. And now that we have a 20 megapixel camera, instead of a two megapixel camera, we're getting imagery that looks like this and the spatial, the spectral feedback to understand if there's any sort of issue going on. This is mainly just highlighting, you're not always just doing the analysis on the entire map, but maybe just on the individual image. And so do you basically, in a software like this, upload your hundreds of images and then it just filters through them all and kicks out data? Or are you selecting certain images that you want to, to have highlighted one by one? It would be you would upload all of the imagery and it would be okay. able to analyze it all at once. It's yeah. not feasible at that altitude to stitch the entire map or model. So it's basically just taking photos and sampling. And you can see on the map, it gives you, each photo gives you a score. So you can see there's one red in their photo and a couple of the options are yellow. Those are photo locations where it came back with some sort of disease pressure. 